Hello, everybody. You are looking live at a spectacle of tremendous proportion. This is Lee Pitts Live on location at the Florida Repertory Theater. We're preparing for a great reception here that's taking place with Jarrell, the, the singer, uh, giving us the vocals. We'll be moving in to see The Mountaintop, which is a play that has gotten rave reviews and many awards as the last days of Dr. King, the last night of Dr. King at that hotel in Memphis. Before we get into all these red carpet interviews here, Lee Pitts Live is proud to be the media sponsor of this play, and people will be filing in throughout the night. Keep singing. The, uh, get a chance to talk to my good friend here, a legionnaire. All right, thank you. You get your full name. My name is Michael D. Turner. And Mike, talk about your title and what you do. Well, I'm with American Legion, District uh, 13. I'm the chair for the Veterans Employment, Education, and uh, Homelessness. And it also encompasses dealing with veteran suicide. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Right. You take your job very seriously and you're very passionate uh, about it. Yes, I am. Why? Uh, why? Uh, back in 1989, I lost a... Well, 1987, I lost a, a Marine okay. under my charge to suicide, and uh, that was uh, changed my life. I caused see. me to have my issues, and uh, it, after I got the help, I promised not to let another person go as long as I did, decades, yeah. Yeah, the average not person. getting the help. So. Howard University, HBCU, I went one to one. So that's where uh, my passion comes from. The... Um, a lot of people don't realize it, that our veterans are always in need of assistance. Absolutely. And it's great that we have people like you who are looking out for them. I appreciate you have an that. event coming up on yes, February the 24th. Yep. Do you want to encourage all people or just veterans to come? No, it's, the whole public is invited. Uh, veteran community is definitely invited. And uh, we want to get the word out. I don't know. Most people know Florida has been number two in veteran suicide since 2000. And uh, it's time we make a change. It's the only way you get change is you got to do it yourself at the local level. And that's where we're starting. Absolutely free? It is free. All right, and tell uh, us on February the 24th, right. uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., it starts at 10, 15, American Legion Post 38, no, that's post 192. 192, that's on Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard. Right. Uh, 3130. 30. Martin Luther King. What can people expect? What's going to happen that day? Well, we're going to have, we, at 1015, we're going to have a walk. It's going to be 2.2 miles for the designated number of 22 lives a day, lost to veteran suicide. And that's a debatable number, but uh, it is what it is. So, Florida. In 2021, we lost a total of 546. Uh, we went up by 39 over 2020. And in Lee County, we lost 23 veterans to veteran suicide. And in 2020, we lost 21. So, and over the past 10 years, from 2010 to 2020, mm -hmm. Fort Myers and Lee County, basically, you might as well say, we were number seven in the state with the number of total veteran suicides. Mm -hmm. And it's time to change. So you say um, something about 20, it's going to be a march or yeah, it's a gonna run be a, or It's just going to be a basic, a, a leisurely walk. It's 2.2 miles. From then when everybody where? gets back, we're going to have our opening ceremony. We're going to have a Hopefully, we'll have a unique uh, JRTC unit come out, present colors, and we'll start. We'll be talking about the issues of homelessness, of veteran suicide, veterans' mental health, and we're also rolling out caregiving and stuff like that. Um, we're very, and we're also going to be rolling out the national campaign here okay. of Be the One, which is an national program that the American Legion is doing to combat veteran suicide. So what, it's all of us, it takes all of us. What do people need to do right now? 
if they want to be a part make, of this. Uh, just be there. Listen. You know, don't check in even on your strong friends. You know, and that's that's probably the hardest one is because you think you got somebody that uh, is always there and always available for somebody, but they have their they have their weekdays, you know, mm -hmm. and they need their help. But that's our shirt that we're for the event, and that's uh, which one? Right here. Just the main one. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just letting people know we're out to end veteran suicide. Be okay. the one. Veteran suicide, yeah. they can get this shirt. Yeah. It's uh, $18 for a small and medium. It's uh, 22 for a large and extra large. And 2X is $22. That helps support your cause, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that one you can buy online through the American Legion uh, emblem sales. And that's a shirt, and it basically tells you how you be the one. And uh, we want to change the be the one to one of my favorite sayings is, be the reason that person stays there. Um, what, what has been the response so far from people who know about this event is going to be taking well, place? Well, this is my third year leading this one. This one, we've already are engaging. We're doing sponsorships this year, which is a new one for us. And... Uh, we're getting good response. We've always had a decent response. The first year we did in Punta Gorda, we had 400 people. And we raised uh, not enough money, but we only had six weeks of planning to do that. Last year, we did Pine Island. And uh, it was a good turnout. And, you know, for after Ian touched everybody and created a problem for us. but uh, And we were able to donate five thousand dollars to the department for project vet relief which helps with the homeless vets helps with veteran suicide and make sure people have insurance and uh you know whatever they need and that's uh that's another part of my job is is to help uh in the district with that so well, it's so great to have this program coming oh, yeah. up and i want to repeat the date and time again go yeah. ahead so, the event is going to be February 24th at Post 192, which has got a great history in oh, the Martin Dunbar the King community. Boulevard. And it's uh, one of the reasons we picked it is we're trying to revive that post and we want, and it, we're reviving everything. So. 10 a.m. over there. Yep. So, we start at 10 a.m., it goes to 4, and we're going to have some really nice silent auction items. One of them is going to be a Jimmy Buffett bicycle. Is Doc Montgomery the commander there now? Yes, he is. My man, shout out, Doc. Yep. So, Dar Doc doing Darren, a great job over there. Yep. Good job, Doc. I know him as Darren, but uh, everybody doesn't know him as Doc. Yeah. Well, so there we go. got, and uh, he's he's been very helpful, and I'm looking forward to keep working with him. And uh, we're going to get it done. And the other reason I like having it at, at Post 192 is is because. We need to reach all parts of the community. So and we want all the parts of the community to come out and see what's there. And we're gonna have caregiving as well as end of life and through life. All kinds of information. And all kinds of information to keep people from taking their life. All right, everybody, you got the information. Make sure you get out there on February 24th. Yep, thank you, Lee. Remember, Miami may have the oranges, but the American Legion has got the juice. We'll be right You're back. Right. Hello everybody, this is Lee. I'm so glad that you watched that particular show. And if you enjoyed that show, we got other shows like that. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch Lee Pitts Live on demand anytime. And also hit us up on all our social media platforms. Just type in Lee Pitts Live and there you go.